All right, what's the toughest sport to handicap? Right now, it's got to be tennis. Just try to figure out who's going to win the next major event. You can't do it. No telling what's going to happen on the tour these days. Today, upset is probably not the right word for what happened at the U.S. Open. How about just shocker or incredible? This kid, 19-year-old Alexander Volkov of the Soviet Union, ranked 52nd in the world, paints the line there against number one men's seed Stefan Edberg, the top player in the world, and Volkov breezes past him. Look at that shot, a cross-court uh, cross backhand return as Volkov wins the first set. Volkov now, watch him go to the net after this shot, and then comes up for the backhand volley <laughs> to get that one. Edberg was thrown off all afternoon. Volkov then now in the far court with a nice touch shot there. The Soviet player wins in straight sets. Straight sets today. First time the top seed has lost in the first round of the Open since way back in 1971. This has been, you know, one of the, my best summers so far. I've won four tournaments in a row. I've uh, achieved the number one ranking. And uh, looking at that, uh, it, it doesn't feel as bad now. But, uh, you know, I really wanted to do well at the Open this year, but it's too late now. It is now X minus four days and counting, getting a little seasick here until the official beginning of the strong era of UNLV football. Saturday night, the Southwest Missouri State Bears will be in town to take the Rebels on. Rebel head coach Jim Strong, he's a hands-on coach. He likes to get right in there and be careful. Don't want to get too close, but he likes to get right in there with these guys and help them out. He knows the program's been down for quite a while. He knows a lot of people think that the Rebel program is going to stay down. But Coach Strong is the type of guy that's not going to let that sort of stuff knock him off stride a bit. I think it's a challenge. It's one of the biggest challenges I've ever had in my life. I want to approach our football players from the standpoint, we're here to gain respect. I'm not satisfied with being the, the, the team that's ranked 144th in the country at this time. The other side of the coin is, I hope the players make up their mind and make a decision they're not satisfied either. Now, if you think Notre Dame football went big time when they signed a network contract, how's this for you? The Irish are going worldwide. They now have a deal to show Notre Dame football in six European countries. One of those, no surprise, is Ireland. Uh, tonight, Tuesday's Tips continues with uh, our six-month-long tradition here. I guess we can call it a tradition now, can't we? Tradition of sorts, giving you the best in golf and advice. Tonight, we head out to Angel Park and teach you how to chip and pitch. Today's tip is about pitching. Sometimes we're near the green and we get confused on whether to chip or to pitch. The difference between chipping and pitching is in pitching, you take a little bit bigger swing than you do in a chip shot and you make a little bit of a weight transfer which gives you more club head speed, which allows you to hit the ball a little bit more distance. The key to playing these shots is to control the pace of the swing with your left arm and to swing the club through the ball as far as you swing it back on your back swing. It's a good point there to swing the ball all the way through because so often on those little short shots, you want to hold up. <laughs> yeah. You want to lay up and you don't want to hit it too hard, but as far as you bring it back, bring it forward that far and should work, okay? And we'll chip like you. <laughs> do you learn from these things, Ron? I do, do you get but it, tips. Oh, yeah, yeah. I learn the principle of what to do and what not to do. Uh, how practical it is sometimes and how it works on the course is different. It just takes practice right. and, and, and talent to be able to do it over and over again. But at least if you know and understand the principle first, then it makes it a lot easier when you go out and practice it.